Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time. Keep on. And today we'll be reviewing the Transformers Authentics Bravo Optimus Primal. And yes, this is one figure I've been looking for for a long time, and then when it popped up at Dollar General, I had to grab this epic figure. The only ones I'm still missing is the Titan Changer, Wheeljack, and the Starscream. But yeah, those are the only two I'm missing from this line. And yeah, I, de I have a posable Optimus Primal in my collection. He doesn't have the swords he had in the show, or the... Paint apps as much as the original Legacy or Kingdom line one did. But now it's been a minute, we're going to look at the package in here. Got a nice product shot of Optimus Primal in his ape mode, or his beast mode. Optimus Primal, Transformers, Hasbro, Authentics, Transformers, Age of Six Plus. And now look at the back of the box. Shot of the beast mode and his robot mode. I like both. They both look really nice. And some warning information and all that if you want to read it. And that's all there is to say for the package. And let's look at this figure close up. I have to admit the robot mode and beast mode hands are really well done. See the launchers on his arms. See his jetpack here. His legs right there. But now we're done. Look at the glorious beast mode. Let's get down to transforming it. Which is very simple. Straighten out the legs. Then we're going to. Pull this out. Have the robot mode head revealed. And then we're going to. Rotate that. Like so. Flip this panel around. Peg it in right up in there. Flip out these to form his shoulder pads. And finally, for the last step, we're going to turn around the guns, I think. Or are they supposed to be on the back like that? Yeah, they're supposed to be like that. Now he's got his jet pack. And there we got Optimus Primal in his robot mode. And this is a really good looking Optimus Primal. Sure, it doesn't have a lot of paint apps on it, but it is cartoon accurate for my taste. But now we're going to get down to some robot mode comparisons. I just couldn't wait to transform this thing, so sorry I didn't do any beast mode comparisons. Here's my Play School Heroes Optimus Primal. This one's much better because it's got articulation, as you can see, which makes this the best Optimus Primal I own. Compared to this simple one. But now for some comparisons with some other Maximals here. Which you're going to see. After I transform them. Back into their robot modes. Off camera. And yeah, this is a fun line for what I paid for it. And I'm definitely on the hunt for more Beast Wars inspired figures here. Alright, Cheetor is almost transformed. Or Night Prowl, a.k.a. Cheetah. And that would be my dogs upstairs going wild. They always do that. So pardon the dogs upstairs. They don't know any better. They're dogs. Now we give, uh, give Cheetor his weapon, his tail axe. And now here is Cheetor, a.k.a. Night Prowl, next to Optimus Primal. I like this figure a lot. And, of course, with his fellow Maximal, Rhinox. This guy is too difficult to transform back into beast mode and out of it. So I just leave him in beast mode. He's just so much of a pain to transform here and back again. But now we're going to do Rat Trap right next to this Optimus Primal. If I can get him to transform on camera. I mean, off camera. But he doesn't stand well on his own. The trick is trying to get him to stand on his own. I'll 
I'll tell you that much. For a re-release of an old school figure, he has that one little problem. I didn't think to give him any way to stand up. Even for a re-release. Like some sort of custom stand or something. We almost got his blaster assembled. And here we got Rat Trap next to his leader, Optimus Primal. And they look good together, if I do say so myself. Do I highly recommend this authentic Bravo, Optimus Primal? If you can't find a Kingdom One right now, this guy is worth ten bucks. And I'm so glad I picked him up for that much. And I'm definitely going to look forward to picking up Starscream and maybe the Titan Changer Wheeljack. But other than that, this is a fun line from Authentics Bravo. They're worth the money. But now, before we end this video, let's do a Maximal group shot with the best-looking Maximals. Here we got Rhinox, Rat Trap. Night Prowl, a.k.a. Cheetor. So we got four out of the five original Maximals. The only one we're missing is Dinobot. I will definitely try to hunt me down a Dinobot later on. But for now, I have four out of the five, which is still pretty good if I do say so myself. If you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it, please make sure to like Please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.